This is a seemingly very random video, but bear with me. It began life as a camera app design tier list video, but I spent so much time and went into so much detail about pro camera that it would have taken far too much time to break down and rank the designs of 11 other camera apps. So I gave up on the tier list, but I didn't want what I'd written about pro camera to go to waste because I thought it was pretty good and I'd taken so much time putting it together. So here is the design genius of pro camera. This isn't my opinion, by the way. This has been fact checked true by me. Pro Camera is full of options, settings, and functionality, and apps like this with so many options and so much information on screen at once can often look cluttered, making them ugly and difficult to use. But Pro Camera isn't, thanks to its excellent visual hierarchy. The visual hierarchy is the way information is structured and prioritized in a design. Fundamentally, it guides people around the content and gives them clues as to how to interpret it. Pro Camera creates visual hierarchy on its main interface by grouping related controls and settings together in threes. Everything in the settings panel is grouped as well, which is great, especially when there's lots of options to choose from. And even when related elements aren't grouped or in close proximity, like here, when the ISO and shutter speed values are at opposite ends of the interface, visual hierarchy is maintained with the use of color. Also, having the ISO and shutter speed sliders on screen at the same time makes shooting manually more efficient. And I love how the values are displayed up here as well because they're easier to keep track of while you're adjusting them and you don't have to keep peering under your thumb. A similar thing happens with the white balance. And notice how when I leave the exposure screen, the exposure values remain enclosed in blue as a subtle visual reminder that they're locked. Plus the way these lines appear under the settings you've input makes it really easy to maintain a sense of context and keep track of your workflow. Another design principle incorporated into Pro Camera is closure. Closure is a design principle that states people will fill in blanks to perceive a complete object and it's used brilliantly here in Pro Camera's many sliders. Having the sliders fade at the edges signals that they're not complete, that there's more beyond the edges, which encourages interaction. Finally, I can't not mention all of the beautifully rounded pills, rectangles, and circles. According to Swiss physicist and author Jörg Nanny in his book Visual Perception, rectangles with rounded corners and other ellipses take less cognitive effort to process than ones with sharp corners because the brain is able to process the shape in a single pass, whereas it has to stop and start with sharp edges. There's also the theory that people find smooth curves friendlier and more approachable as they're safe, whereas sharp edges are associated with danger and avoidance. Hence, rounded rectangles and other ellipses seem to be virtually everywhere at the moment. Even as I type this in Google Docs, I can see loads of them. There is not a single hard corner inside anywhere within Pro Camera, but because it mixes the rounded rectangles with pills and circles, you never get the sense that the interface is overly saturated with rounded rectangles, which can appear childish. Appear childish, I'm a serious app. Whether you're a beginner picking up a pro camera app for the first time, or you're a pro wanting maximum efficiency, then pro camera's design is top tier. Despite being such a deep and comprehensive app, its design is aesthetically pleasing. It's extremely helpful and easy to understand and use. And because of all of this, it gets the Dieter Rams Brown T1000 multiband radio god tier design position. This was going to be my, my tier list ranking system. I had the T1000 multiband radio at the top in the traditional S tier section for legendary design and for design disasters down here, which was reserved for designs that were both ugly and hard to use. I had 90s websites. And with 11 other apps on the list, you can see why I gave up on the idea of creating a full tier list. The video would have been an hour long. 